Soon it's gonna be all that you can eat or drink is just water. Delicious, delicious filling water. If you're like most people, you want to eat a healthy diet, full of foods like granola, fruit juice, diet soda, and turkey bacon. Except, as it turns out, those foods, among others, are not as good for you as you once thought. Here are 10 healthy foods that turned out to be unhealthy. Number 10 is margarine. But I can't believe it's not butter. Allow me to have this yellow paste that was made in a laboratory. <laughs> butter was declared public enemy number one in the 1950s by heart doctors as well as fitness fanatics because this pure unadulterated source of saturated fat was going to lead us all to an early grave. So science came to the rescue with the magic of margarine where hydrogen is added to vegetable oils to make a solid known as partially hydrogenated oil which which was supposed to be the healthier alternative to butter. Now, while there was an early reduction in heart disease thanks to margarine, studies have since shown that industrial trans fats were associated with a 34% increase in death of its consumers from heart attacks, stroke, and diabetes. And the most disturbing thing is that margarine technically isn't even a food, and yet it can be found in many processed foods and grocery stores. So while I'm not suggesting that you take a bath in a tub of of melted butter, make sure you check the label before you buy. Number nine is granola. Mm, that crunchy goodness is gonna kill ya. Nah, nah. Once upon a time, granola was the healthiest thing to eat since sliced bread, which, as it also turns out, is very bad for you. You would think that dried fruits, nuts, and seeds combined into a bowl or formed into a bar would help you climb the highest mountain in Yodel. And it might. But if you don't actually climb a mountain, then you just consumed a crazy amount of calories. The health food granola that you're used to is really not healthy since it's typically made with butter, shortening, and or sugar. And it's often an excuse to cram in chocolate chips, sugary fruits, and yogurt covering so the average serving can have as much as 400 calories. Just keep in mind that there are healthier granola options, but instead of going for a misleading tsunami of sugar and fat, just go for the original cast member, a handful of raw nuts. When I get hungry, I just eat some walnuts. <sighs> Healthy. Number eight is fruit juice. <sighs> ah, fruity. Eh? Wait, what? Not everything that comes off a tree is healthy because while fruit juice certainly packs a lot of vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants, it's also just a glass full of sugar. Juice that you squeeze yourself from an orange that you handpicked off an organic tree is certainly better than a supermarket variety juice pumped full of added sugar, preservatives, and other chemicals meant to taste like fruit. Tastes like sugary death. The truth is that juice is just the liquid essence of the fruit without all the healthy stuff like fiber. And it allows you to consume the calories of up to five oranges or apples without feeling full. Now we all know that liquid calories from booze and soda are bad, but the same rules apply to juice since they don't provide a filling effect and cause a rapid blast of sugar into the blood as well as insulin, which is a hunger hormone. So you actually end up eating even more. You hear that? That's a whole lot of parents slapping fruit juice boxes out of kitty's hands. Number seven are energy bars. There was once a time when every gym had an army of energy bar munching zombies convinced that they would get six pack abs, tighter buns, and sweeter pecs if they just supplemented their routine with a power bar. These compact miracle meals provided athletes with the fuel that they needed for greatness, aka calories, to sustain their extreme workouts. But for the average consumer watching TV, it meant higher numbers on the scale. I've eaten 40 of these bars. Am I supposed to be heavier now? The problem is many of these bars are marketed as healthy snacks and contain as much sugar as a candy bar. So you might as well just have a Snickers. At least it'll actually taste good. Even the sugar-free or low-carb protein bars 
typically use artificial sweeteners for flavor and cause sugar cravings, which leads to weight gain, so I'll just pass on that protein bar, bro. While we're passing on that, can you spot me, man? Cause I'm trying to get a swell on. Number six is diet soda. Newsflash to all you ordering a double bacon cheeseburger and a Diet Coke, one does not cancel out the other. In fact, it may actually be worse for you than a regular Coke. Diet sodas typically have zero calories thanks to their artificial sweeteners and are a smarter choice for people with diabetes. But there is nothing nutritionally substantial in these fizzy, sort of sweet tasting drinks. What they do have are possibly carcinogenic food colorings, tooth enamel eroding flavors and additives and the sweeteners like aspartame can create elevated risks of heart disease, stroke, and type 2 diabetes. And if the risk of death isn't enough of a draw, diet soda also alters the bacteria in our stomachs that create glucose intolerance which can lead to weight gain and obesity which kind of defeats the purpose of a diet soda. Double cheeseburger, an extra large fry, oh and a diet soda. I'm on a diet. Number five is couscous. I only eat couscous because it doesn't harm any animals. I don't care if it tastes like mother nature's fart. <laughs> The exotic and healthy looking couscous is so clever, all dressed up like one of those healthy grains like barley, spelt, and buckwheat. But spoiler alert, it's just white pasta with clever marketing. That's right suckas, couscous is just little balls of semolina, which you find in cheap spaghetti and is used as filler in meat stews in places like North Africa. Sure, the texture resembles the grains beloved by vegetarian hippies, but a cup of plain couscous contains 100 176 calories and 36 grams of carbs, which is about the same as many pastas. So don't fool yourself into thinking it's a health food. And if tiny balls are your preferred texture, might I suggest quinoa and other superfood grains that couscous is merely trying to impersonate. Couscous? More like nope nope. Number four is turkey bacon. Okay, this one personally devastated me because I used to eat nothing but turkey bacon. <laughs> bacon is so dang delicious, there is actually a United Church of Bacon that substitutes their faith in a higher power with faith in the higher flavor of greasy, meaty goodness. Pork belly bacon is as unhealthy as it is delicious because of the high fat in sodium increases your risk of high blood pressure and stroke. So the poultry cartels saw an opening and created turkey bacon as a healthy alternative. And boy, did we eat it up, even though turkey bacon is kind of rubbery or leathery and either too dry or too soggy. But because we think it's healthy, we tend to eat more of it. But turkey bacon is still processed meat, treated with mountains of sodium, artificial colors, sodium nitrates, and still has plenty of saturated fat. Now, turkey bacon is still a healthier alternative, but with only slightly less fat and calories, you might as well just go for the full pork bacon. Just don't go wild hog. Number three is coconut oil. But man, I clean with it, I put it in my hair and I drink it, what are you doing to me? Be wary of any superfood where marketers claim it's healthy, especially when it has the word oil in it, which generally just translates into high fat. The coconut is indeed a miracle fruit for keeping tropical cultures alive, even in drought. Its fiber is used for rope for fishing, its meat called copra that feeds animals, fuel lanterns, and is where coconut oil comes from. Coconut oil does have photoprotective and antibacterial properties, but it still has 115 calories and 12 grams of saturated fat per tablespoon. Mm, leave that coconut uncracked, I think I'll pass. Saturated fat creates low density lipoprotein or LDL, which is the bad kind of cholesterol. So its saturated fat content at 82% compared with 63% for butter, 50% for beef fat and 39% for pork fat, coconut oil is in some ways the worst for you. I think I and get a lot of people with that one. Don't be throwing coconuts at me, man. They kill you. Number two are veggie burgers. 
Just like turkey bacon, but less meaty, veggie burgers are in theory supposed to make summer barbecues a little healthier if you ignore potato chips, corn, and keg stands. The problem is that patties don't grow on trees, so they must be bound together to create the burger texture, which often means unhealthy fillers like gums, yeast extract, and cornstarch. The actual veggie content is often low, and they can be loaded with bloat-inducing soy, salt, fat, and preservatives for long shelf lives, which hardly makes them a health food. A vegetarian meal is generally healthier than grilled meats that become carcinogenic when put to a flame. So if you're going veggie burger, choose brands offering mostly vegetables, whole grains, and legumes like lentils and beans that can provide fiber, vitamins, and minerals. Otherwise, you could just be eating veggie death. And number one is sushi. I can't have sushi now either, man. That's it, I quit, it's my favorite. Blue zones in Japan, where people live past 100, attribute their longevity to a diet of raw fish and rice. But if they ate Western style sushi, like a deep fried California roll, they die young and beautiful just like us. Many of the fish found in traditional sushi meals contain lean protein and anti-inflammatory omega-3s. But spicy tuna rolls are loaded with enough mayonnaise for one to one and a half tuna sandwiches. Then there are the sauces, particularly soy, which is sodium city and is ubiquitous in sushi meals and grossly overused by Japanese standards so you can't even taste the fish. And we haven't even gotten into the whole mercury thing yet where migratory pelagic fish like tuna absorb toxic metals. So just be mindful of that healthy sushi lunch you go to after your spinning or yoga class. I raised my leg above my head today, but also I'm about to go eat some toxic metal, so I'll see you later. Okay. So that was 10 healthy foods that turned out to be unhealthy. But if you enjoyed this, remember to give it a big thumbs up. Also, be sure to subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications by clicking the bell beside the subscribe button so that you never miss a video because I release new ones all the time. Thank you guys for watching and I don't know what to eat now because I was going to have sushi.